Hey, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I am your host, Steph, and with me today is Mr. Roland. Hey, baby, how's it going? Yeah? So, we'll see how long he can last. He just ate. <laughs> so, we're going to start off the episode with another true confession of a Knitting Samurai. Must take off the glasses, so that's a little easier to see me. All right, so this true confession. <laughs> I'm telling you, and this is something I would not, I have not told my mother. I don't want my coworkers to find out. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, but it's also kind of funny at the same time. And the husband keeps threatening to post it on Facebook if I don't stop watching it. Yes, I am addicted to Jersey Shore. It's streaming on Netflix, and I watched one, and it's such a train wreck that I can't not look. And so I've been watching them for the last week. I think I've watched 20-something episodes in a week's time. And he's very captivated by it. No, he does not watch it. But, um, yeah, so I've been watching Jersey Shore. I'm almost done. It's like, I'm guilty. I feel really guilty about watching it, but at the same time, like, oh, I want to see what's going to happen. One more episode, one more episode, one more episode. And then it's midnight, and I did that four nights this week, and my coworkers are like, wow, what's up with you? Why are you so brain dead? Well, I don't know, because I slept from 12 until 5 when I have to get up to go to work. So, true confessions of a knitting samurai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing really well, huh? It's been a long time since he's actually recorded with me. I don't know if I used this chair before or if I used just the red swing for him. But uh, at 19 weeks, weighing in at 18 pounds, 13 ounces at his last doctor's appointment, he, oh, you took out your pacifier? He, um, <laughs> and 26 and a half inches long, he's a big boy. And I think these chairs go up to 25 pounds, so pretty soon there'll be no more chairs for you. No more chairs for you. Yeah. But for now, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, and there's is it. She wants to get in on the action, too. So, let's talk knitting, right? Okay. <laughs> He's like, Mommy, who are you talking to? So, last week I showed you my the navy blue Pembroke vest that I was working on for Roland. I had done about this much of the ribbing and started in on the, like, was just about to start the patterning and realized that's a really scratchy wool. And I wouldn't want it to accidentally get on my neck if I were wearing it. And all his clothes gets all pushed up around his neck. Um, so I nixed it, ripped it out, frogged it. I love the blue. I love the pattern. I love the blue of the yarn. But Cascade 220 is just a little too itchy for baby knit for me. Anyways, so I went stash diving and pulled out some uh, Superwash Valley DK. Superwash Valley DK? It's very exciting, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> um, and it's the copper color. I had purchased it a few weeks back thinking I would make him a vest. You can see I'm holding two things here. So the first attempt, I actually looked at um, designing something myself. And so I cast on and started doing some, or did garter for the top part. Is it? I just rearranged his bedroom because it's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's good for their development, for them to look at things, look at light at different angles. And so I keep rearranging his room. So right now the setup is not the way I would most like it. But now is it has to go explore. She's probably going to go up on the top of the crib. I think you can see it and you'll see her go around. If you do, you know, enjoy watching my crazy cat walk around. She's definitely making the bees move. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and she's crying. But... <laughs> here at the uh, Nitty Samurai house today. So I cast on, I thought I did the math right. This was coming out way too huge. I was using um, a cable pattern down the front. Um, uh. Roland says vest fail. So he, we, this was not going to be a vest that would last very long. Um, it was going to be too big for him. I didn't, just didn't like it. So I ripped it off the needles. I didn't frog it because I wanted to show it to you. So see, I have been knitting. <laughs> I just got that far. Um, okay. Are you done recording for the day? Are you, are you done? You need child labor? I have to give you a timeout or something? 
Poor you. <laughs> so I tried a second time and so far so good. So I made the neck a little longer. And I think I'm going to put a snail, like a purple snail on the bottom hem, but otherwise keep it all in garter. Because it's easy. Is it? Stop. No, I'm not opening the door for her. She wants to be in the closet. Um, yeah. So, and it's this nice copper color. Orange. I like him in orange. I like him in green. Not so much of the blue, but this outfit was on sale, and it was adorable. It's a two-piece. See? Oh! I thought it was cute, so I bought it for him. And immediately rushed home, washed it, and put them in it. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the vest I'm working on right now. I still, for the vest knit along, need to knit the owl's vest. I have not done that one. And so, now that you've seen this, seen the first one, I can frog that and put it into take two of that vest. And then start the owl one. And I'm thinking the knit along is going to go to September, ah, uh, September. To February 15th. So if I set myself a goal of being done with this vest and the next vest by February 15th, I think that's achievable. Oh, I'm yeah. And there's Sophie. Okay, I think that's achievable. So that's the plan. Um, last week you also saw me working on the Hitchhiker Shawl with my Haunted Vineyard by Cloud Lover. I have since finished it. So, um, this that probably doesn't look like any of the Hitchhiker Shawls you've seen before. And the difference is that this increased edge with all the teeth, when I got to the point where I thought I was going to run out of yarn and I wouldn't have enough to keep going, I decided that rather than just binding off, which is what the pattern calls for, I... Um, experimented a little bit and figured out how to get some teeth and made teeth along the edge as I bound off. So it ate up probably double what a normal, well probably five times what normal cast off would have used. I'm going to get rid of the cat. She's been a victim. Alright, anyway, so it ate up probably five times as much yarn as um, it would have if I had just bound off, but I like that it kept with the teeth. And so... When I put it on, I have two edges of teeth instead of just one. Yeah, I'm moving in my hands. I like it. I think it has a nice, nice finished bit to it. So, let me see. These. These are the teeth that I added. So this would have just been a straight triangle, and instead it has the teeth just like this one. So, I think it looks really nice. <laughs> and it is my first out of 12 shawls for 2012. So I am happy to have that completed. I was so excited knitting it. I really like this pattern. It's dead simple. Um, I think I'm going to do another one with gradients. Because this one's definitely for me. But if I did a gradient one, I would hands down give it away. It would be an awesome gift for somebody. Because most people look at it and think it's a scarf, right? And it looks nice. And it's easy. And I really like it. In fact, it doesn't really go with my purple. But I think I'm wearing it the rest of the episode. Ends and all. So. That is definitely the favorite toy right now. And finally, this is going to be a quote going, kids. <laughs> I cast on a baby blanket. So, I don't know any babies. But I'm of an age where I know a lot of people. Yeah? Do you want it or no? Sorry. And this is why it's been a while since you've seen him record, because he's not that quiet little, let me just sit still munchkin. He actually has opinions about things. Hi, huh, Roland. Last one. Cast on a baby blanket. This is the op art pattern that was in the Fall Midi 2008. It is by Melissa Dominguez. And I'm just using up some... <laughs> Some cottonese that I had used for the Maja blanket that I made for Roland. I thought I would use up my scraps and just go until they're gone. And so you can see I finished up with the red, did some white, and then on to some purple. 
and it's going really fast, really well. I've cast this on yesterday, so you can see it's fast knitting. Um, using US size 6 needles, and I like it. I think it's a really nice pattern. I, um, I think it would be, it's, I don't think this is a good representation of what the pattern looks like because it's supposed to have the spiraling effect. Yes, I'm using the shelf again. It's supposed to have the spiraling effect and you can't really tell because each blue section should be offset by another stripe section. Like the red should be the same size as the blue stripes and you can see that my blue stripes are bigger than this white stripe. Like They're not matching and if they did match it would look really, really cool. But that's not where what I'm at after for this. So, and if I, I had to pep talk myself yesterday because I'm not wild about the way it's turning out, and I want to go buy more yarn and rip it out and start again. This is actually the second attempt I've done it on this. I'm becoming a bit of a perfectionist about my knitting. I'm finding here. Uh, anyways, and I I had to pep talk myself that you know what this doesn't have to be perfect. And your Stephanie Mitch, Stephanie, you are not going to be looking at this for any great period of time. Just knit it. Someone who is not a knitter will think that's very nice and it will keep a baby really warm. So it's a great use of leftover yarn. Get it out of the stash. These little tiny balls that I've been holding on to for <clears throat> months now. Just finish them off, move them out, get on with it. So I was surprised though. I went to Michael's and bought an extra skein yesterday morning of the blue. We had to have one color to tie it all together of course. And I'm calling it blue, but a few months ago I would have called it teal. <laughs> it is teal. It's like this color. Anyways, um, I went to buy another skein of it. Cotton needs 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. I know the price of cotton is going up based on, you know, from my job. I know that the price of cotton is going up. But it was 8 bucks a skein. Like, that seems crazy expensive to me for a yarn that I'm buying at Michael's. Am I way off base with that? Like, I, I bought it. It didn't stop me from buying it, but I definitely, like, wow, that's a lot to have spent for acrylic yarn. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, it, it's got to be the cotton that's driving up the price. Anyway, so, um, you'll probably see more of this. Yes, you can tell. Ooh, shiny. I was working on the vest last weekend, and then I went gangbusters on this while watching TV. <laughs> and then once this is done, I was like, oh, I want to cast on another one right away. And I couldn't find a yarn that I wanted to use. And so, I don't know, I found this while I was digging in the stash and decided that, okay, I'll just burn through that. So now I'm onto this, like, ooh, shiny, what's next? What am I doing? I think I have knitter ADD. Is there such a thing? I feel like it. I mean, you know, you watch me. Every week I'm showing you different, oh, look at what I started. Oh, look at what I started. I mean, I finish, I turn things out, but there are... There's a lot on my needles, a lot of UFOs. Hmm. It doesn't really bother me, but I would like a consistent story, you know, to carry something through for a little longer. But that's sort of depressing. Sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> to be like, oh, let me confess my sins to you. Um, what do you think, Roland? He says, I don't care. Yeah, he wore his Oz vest. This morning my parents came to visit and he was wearing that. It's a little loose on him, but definitely keeps his torso warm. And I love it. He doesn't mind it. He likes to chew on it. So, anyways, anything else to tell you? I joined the um, Three Use Twisted and Fiber Hiawasa. I don't know how you say that. Hiawasa Creek Fiber, no, Yarn Club. Um, I had noticed that my first shipment has shipped, but I haven't received it yet, so I will be excited to get that and show it to you. It's six installments, two semi-solids, two stripes. What else would it be? Maybe two salt? Two variegated. Yeah, two, two, two. So, um, three from one dyer and three from the other dyer. And so that'll be great to have and see what they send me. I'm using it as a good stretching point to get me some colors I might not necessarily buy, number one, and number two, as sort of an incentive to knit for other people. So, oh, this isn't really a color I'm wild about, but that's fine. I can knit it and give it away. Give it away. Give it away. <laughs> so, and you will see that a little more this year. I'm going to try and build up my gift box to have things to give to people because it's embarrassing. I am a knitter. When people have babies, 
I should be giving them knitted gifts. What am I doing going out and buying something in a store? I have no business buying things. And, you know, life gets busy and gets in the way. And so I'm just going to start having a box of knitted goods ready to go. And I gave Steve a very similar speech, except I was swearing a lot. <laughs> I don't know, it was weird. I went on this rant about, you know, I'm a freaking knitter, and I should be giving knitted gifts to people, because that's what they deserve from me. You know, it's like, I want to knit, knit, knit like crazy, and then I've got a box of, like, more socks in size 11 than I know what to do with. That's very helpful. <laughs> yeah. So, and... Yeah, I love having him in knitted hats, and so everyone should have knitted hats on their babies. He should have one on right now, except he'd be too warm, wouldn't you be? Yeah. Did you notice his hair? His crazy orangutan hair? It's growing! It's growing! Yeah. So, um, so that's what's coming in the mail. I gave you a confession. I'm going to start doing that, I think, once a week here or once a whatever. If I have something that I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I did this. I'll tell you. <laughs> so that's about all from my end of the of the woods. It snowed this week. It snowed like four days in a row. Woohoo! It's nice. So if I keep talking, I should just like pick up my needles and I could just sit here and ramble at you for quite some time. So I think I'm going to stop it here and say have a great week or so and we'll catch you next time. Yes, we will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take care.